Hello everyone. Good morning. I hope you find yourselves well today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Lily and I'm happy for you to be here with me. I have a small haul to share with you. Um, now my sister and I, my sister and my middle daughter and my granddaughter, so there were four of us in the group um, a few days ago, over the weekend, we went thrifting and one of the reasons is oh, some of the stores um, were open, which I was totally surprised about. So, you know, with, with the current pandemic, we still have to be careful. But there were a few things that um, that were on my list that I wanted to go get, none of which I'm going to show you here because they're too large. <laughs> but the whole reason my sister and I and my daughter went thrifting were for some furniture pieces. And so... Uh, and then we we got lucky that we found all of these other items along the way. And so I want to show you, I'm going to show you the items that are more relevant to um, scrapbooking and my journal making uh, because everything else that I got was just too large. So it was so nice to be able to get out. We We hadn't done it in a few months and so it was really nice to be able to go out and uh, and get some fresh air and still be careful. We were all wearing our masks uh, and everyone was being super careful at the stores and uh, there was the social distancing. So, so that was good. We took it easy, but we had such a great time. So let me show you what I, what I purchased because some of these finds, I honestly can't believe I came across and it just, I just absolutely love I love thrifting and I've mentioned it before in, in some of my other videos. Uh, thrifting is, is a passion that I, I love. So let me just show you one of my, one of my favorite finds is a Rolodex. Now I have been, believe it or not, I still use a Rolodex to this day and uh, I've used them in all my offices and I just love them. And so when I come across vintage ones, I don't hesitate. Um, to pick them up. Now we went to a few different shops. We went to an antique, uh, to an antique store, um, furniture store, and then we also went to an antique boutique, and that, where they sell new, old, and also um, items from local crafters. And then we went to uh, a thrift store. Oh, but before all of this. We found a yard sale, and so that was our very first stop. And uh, so at the yard sale, let me start there. Let me let me back up a little bit. At the yard sale, I picked up these vintage stars. These brought me back so many memories, especially kindergarten. Do you remember that in kindergarten? I was a kindergarten child in the uh, 70s, and so I immediately was transported back in time. But look at all of these amazing stars, and look at that. That is real vintage tape right there, you guys. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I picked up these two. So these are great. These are blue, and then I get a little bonus in here, little jingle bells. Wow. And then when I got them and I showed them to my sister, once we came home, she's like, I saw those. I can't believe I didn't pass them up. I'm like, oh no, I grabbed these as soon as I saw them. Also at the yard sale, no, I'm sorry. Don't look at that. <laughs> at the yard sale, um, she had, she had um, this box and in this box is this envelope. Nice. And then it is full of nothing but canceled postage. Wow, this was such a great little find. Now, we met here at the house um, early morning, and when my sister got here, she lives just a few minutes away. She walks in and she says, guess what? There's a yard sale down the street. And so my eyes opened and I thought, really? A yard sale right now? She's like, yeah. And they have great stuff. And I bought this and I bought that. And they even have these stamps. And I said, well, did you get me the stamps? She's like, no, I didn't. I'm just telling you about it. So we got in the car and we went and I picked up the stamps. So this and of course, all the other little things that are there. So wow. And then I get this bonus, this bonus box, which is a little vintage checkbox. So excited for these stamps. So excited. 
because you know I've been I've been making my own faux faux uh, faux postage stamps. And then she had this envelope here, and I peeked inside, and it looked like there was just a bunch of canceled envelopes. And now this is my favorite right here. I love airmail envelopes. I just love love love. And as I as I looked closer, um, there are a ton of of envelopes, like canceled envelopes. But then as I dug deeper, as I put my hand in there, she has all of these little wax envelopes with postage from all around the world, which is amazing, from Kenya, and then from Belgium. And so this lady, this nice lady who was hosting this yard sale was outside in her front lawn in this beautiful Victorian home. And this is Israel, Italy. So it just goes on and on in here, you guys. I was, I was in heaven, in postage heaven. So there's a lot more Mexico. Oh, Mexico. I'm working on a, on a Mexican theme journal. More Italy. And so that is everything that's in here. Wow. Blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. And, well, the lady who was hosting the yard sale, she's a collector of, of antiques. So these are just some things that she was uh, willing to part with. And what I like is that these are, um, they, they don't have, a, you know, any, like, great value as far as stamp collecting goes. But that's okay because these are going straight into my journaling and my scrapbooking. So it worked out perfect. So that is that. Isn't that amazing? What else did I get from her? I think that was it. Oh, I picked up all. Oh, let me show you because I completely forgot. And then she had a piece of leather. And it is in one of my favorite colors, which is this, this, look at this color, you guys. In this beautiful, like sunflower mustard color. So it's a piece of leather and it's probably about a yard. And everything was, I mean, everything was also priced to go. I mean, just just a few dollars. So I did not spend more than $15 on all the little bits and pieces that I picked up. And, uh, and I also picked up a white bookshelf. Um, so all in all, at her yard sale, I spent $25. So, and I know I have other things, do I? Oh yeah, I also picked up some CDs and some books because whenever there's a box of CDs, I am going to go through those and I was just pulling one CD after another. And so it was total $25. What a deal. But this right here, oh yeah, my mind is working. I can't wait to use that. Okay, so set that aside. After that, we went over to um we went over to the antique to the antique store where I purchased a nightstand and a desk chair. And, oh, and at that shop, they also have things that are made by local, by local artists. And so I picked up this embroidered tea towel made by a local artist. And so I love supporting other crafters and creators as well. And I have a weakness for trailers. I don't own one, but maybe one day, but look at this, embroidered and colored, and she's new at this, and it's a huge tea towel, it is huge, huge tea towel, and it's so wonderful, isn't that beautiful, so I purchased this tea towel from there, and then, so I purchased three items there, the nightstand, the antique desk chair, which is beautiful, wooden, repaint, I love refurbished, refurbished furniture, and I enjoy working on refurnished furniture myself. Okay, so then after that, we moved on to an antique boutique, and at that antique boutique is where I discovered um, this right here. I've mentioned how I am a secret cat lady. <laughs> I don't own a cat. I have never owned a cat, but all things cute and kitty or kitten, I, it has to live with me. So this is now living on a bookshelf and everything has already been cleaned and wiped and disinfected. I do that before bringing anything into the house. And so I spent yesterday afternoon cleaning up everything. And 
it was a nice t- surprise to find that this is an old Avon perfume bottle. Isn't that so cute? So I just love this little cat. So cute. Okay, so that's what we got at that, what I got at the antique boutique. And then they also had um, a couple of, they had some, some books there. And so I like Amelia Bedelia, Amelia Bedelia. And so I picked up this book and I read it yesterday. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. And so I'm happy just to add to my book collection and for my grandkids to read, you know, when they're here with me as well. But then this was a nice find. It is a reproduction of a Sears Roebuck and Company book from the 1900s. And isn't that amazing? So I spent, I spent an hour yesterday just going through the book and it is so interesting. Some of the, some of the print, I just couldn't read. It was just too tiny. Um, but it's, it was interesting to see the type of items that used to be sold in the Sears catalog. So that was a great find. And so um, I'll probably use this in future journals. I just, I love it. And so that was really nice. And then I also picked up there um, as I was leaving. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, it's right behind me. Okay, I also picked up a few other items. So they had this lace there. Look at this cotton lace. Isn't that beautiful? So this is 10 yards of this beautiful white cotton lace or cotton trim. Absolutely gorgeous. And so I picked this up there. That was beautiful. And then I picked up this one as well. And I think this one is, this one is five yards. But look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So, yes, nice find. And then I picked up two things that are made by local crafters there. And so um, I picked up these yo-yos. What are they called? They are small yo-yos. And so there's a hundred of them for $4. And so they have a local maker there that makes them and sells them there in that little antique boutique. And so... I bought some, the reason is I tried making some recently and I failed. Um, and so uh, these were already there. Someone else took the time to make them and sharing her craft with all of us. And so I bought, I bought this bag of the yo-yos. And then the other item I purchased there, there is also a local artist that makes these, these watercolor bookmarks. It, aren't these beautiful? It's on watercolor paper. And it just punched a hole with some with some twine. But the images are beautiful. And I think that this this one right here is going to look perfect in the um in that sunflower cover journal that I'm working on. And I showed you a video I kind of um shared. I where did I put it? I'm rearranging the the, the space here. So <laughs> Where did I put the book? Okay, but the cover is sunflowers, and so I thought it would be perfect to add this bookmark once I'm done with that junk journal. Okay, so that is that. So after that shop, then we went over to a thrift store, which was open, which was I was totally surprised. And so in that thrift store, I go straight to the stationery. Well, not really. First, I go to the clothing, um, and I picked up. I picked up about five or six shirts. And most of you, if you've been following me, know that I came here to Utah in December to a vacation. Um, I'm still here, <laughs> a little extended stay. Um, and I came with winter clothes. And so now that it's almost 90 degrees, I don't have any warm, you know, any cool clothes. And so I picked up some great uh, t-shirts there at, um, at the thrift store. And Everything was so clean. I was so surprised. It's always been a clean thrift store, but it was extra clean. They were cleaning the carts. Um, they separated the racks. All the clothes, as I was sifting through the clothes, they smelled of laundry, like they had just come out of laundry. And so, but um, came home and then I I washed 
did all my laundry yesterday. And in fact, I'm wearing one of the shirts today and I love it and I'm not hot. I'm not hot wearing long sleeve. Okay, so at that thrift store, um, after going uh, through the shirt, then I go straight over to the to the stationery and I picked up, I, I grabbed this from my sister's hands. <laughs> she saw it, but she knew I was gonna want it. And so, yeah, and I love these. I take these and I alter them, but I also like to use the Rolodex um, I have, I also, I have real Rolodexes, like Rolodex, Rolodexes that I've had for, um, over 20 years. I also have memory decks, but I also have these and I'll show you really quick. These are not from this haul, but, um, these I've purchased these in the past. And so I'm working on altering and then I alter them and then put them back in here ready for use. But this is from a previous haul or shopping just as this one is. And I'll show you one more uh, from a haul from last year. So <laughs> yeah, I'm a little obsessed. But I use the cards, but these are already um, aged. And so, oh my gosh, these are so wonderful. Okay, set that one aside. Oh, here's the thing I didn't share with you. At the yard sale, I picked up these sheet protectors and it is I think it's a hundred sheet protectors for two dollars and now I still do a lot of old school scrapbooking and I put them in these um, dividers so I love this I also do pocket scrapbooking um, but those are different dividers but these oh yeah I love working on eight and a half by eleven um, scrapbook layouts and then I also have two sticker books that I've shared in previous videos of how I used to hold my my stickers and my ephemera and so I still I still use it to this day I reorganized the books and so I needed a few more to put more stickers in there okay so that was from the yard sale and then going back to the thrift store I got this beautiful tissue I like this color so I'll be I keep that yes I do and then I found at the thrift store some vintage paper clips and it was a bonus when I opened it last night to find the different colors of paper clips. Look at those, look at these copper ones. And then even these right here, they're so old, they've started to kind of patina. Oh my gosh, so this was a lucky find. So we'll be using some of these in our project. So that was nice. The other thing that I found was some staples. Now, I was looking past the vintage box. I really needed staples for my stapler. So it was, a, it, and I was just, I thought these were just standard staples that I was going to use for my standard stapler. To my surprise, I opened it last night and I discovered that they are, let me open it for you. They are small staples little ones smaller than the standard ones but guess what I have I have this Stampin Up stapler that I purchased from the thrift store earlier this year when I talked about how I've obtained a lot of my tools from the thrift store this is one of these tools but I didn't have any staples so yep it is ready to go and these vintage staples fit perfectly in this mini, mini stapler. So I'm excited because now I can use mini staples. So that was nice. I picked this up, which is an old um, bridge, but look at, look at that cover. This is an old uh, game card booklet for bridge, for playing cards. That is gonna look nice once I coffee dye it. Oh yeah, so that was nice. And then I picked up this pinto bean recipe. Uh, it just caught my attention. My sister had looked at it and she showed it to me. She didn't want it, so I picked it up. It was, I think it was like 75 cents. And I never realized how many, how many bean recipes there are. So many, and I looked through it and some of them look so delicious. Um, I don't eat a lot of beans only because I live keto. But every once in a while, I will have a few beans, and I can't resist my mom's when she makes them. But I'm also working on um, 
on uh, pinto beans are a staple in in the Mexican cuisine and because I'm working on a Mexican themed um, journal I thought you know I could add some of these recipes in that book <laughs> that's funny that's that's a funny it's a little pinto bean with a guitar and a mariachi sombrero mariachi hat okay so I picked that up and then I picked I picked this up mainly for the color these are pockets that go into binders like school binders they're made by they're made by Mead and they are from 1989 I took the um the clear packaging because it was dirty but isn't that cool and I just love this color again we're going it's the same color as as the leather that I found I told you one of my favorite colors but it's different from the shipping envelopes different from that you see this is the shipping envelope yeah very different this is more of a sunflower color so these are great so I will probably use a few in my sticker binder and then also probably I don't know use it in use it somehow use the pieces cut it out make ephemera okay so there is that and then what else did I get I think that was it I can't think of anything else oh no I have a few more picked up a calendar it's a 2020 bird calendar. This was at the thrift store. Look at these birds. Look, oh, my sister already claimed this page, just so you know. She loves mushrooms. And uh, so she gets to have that page. But I'm actually still going to use a calendar. Still good for the rest of the year. Look at how pretty. Look at that. And I like using calendar pages in my journals. So these are going to be beautiful once I start using them. This one right here, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So this was a nice find. Cardinal, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, so that was nice. And then I picked up, I picked up some books. I picked up this flower book. And I loved all of the black and white, white, <laughs> black and white uh, graphics in here. When I was thumbing through the page, the one that caught my attention was a sunflower that, this one right here. This, if, is it a sunflower? It looks like a sunflower. It may be a daisy. No, it's September. It is, it's, oh, it's a Mexican sunflower. But this is what caught my attention. And so I will probably use this in an upcoming, in a journal, maybe even the one with the sunflower cover. But now that I see that it's a Mexican sunflower, well, hello. So I'm going to use these. Yep. I'm going to use, I'm just beautiful. All of these great black and white images, floral images and botanicals. So, so there are a few colored ones in here. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? Okay, so that, there's that one. So I'm excited about that one. And then I am a huge Mary Englebright fan. I have been since uh, the early 90s. And I love all things Mary Englebright. I still have some things from back in the day. But every time I come across one, uh, thrift store or yard selling, I always pick it up. So here is this one, which is Outdoor Living. So this is just going into my collection. I love looking at, I love this style of home decor. And I love her, I love the colors and her style. And I'm, I'm a fan of Mary Englebright. So, and I'm so glad that she has an Instagram page because I enjoy following her on Instagram. And here's another one. Again, a home companion for home decor. So I just, I love, I love it. So I spent some time looking at these yesterday. And then the last two things that I purchased at the, well, the last two things here, I found a package of these, these mint green file folders. And 
I think I paid $2 for these. I used to use these in my office over 10 years ago only because these are um, archival and they're meant for long-term use and for using over and over again. So this was a great deal because I know how pricey these are. And I'm excited because I'm gonna use these in junk journals um, to use to make smaller cards for tags and I mean, for everything and maybe even an actual filing cabinet <laughs> to store away some of my papers. And then I picked up this big box. This was, this box was a dollar. It's a big box. And I didn't, it was completely sealed. So I had no idea what was in it until I got home and I opened it last night. And so these are pockets. So it is just pockets. So there's a pocket here. No tab or anything. And yeah, so these are great. So I will be using this. Um, I know that I am working on, on collaging uh, cereal or packaging. I call them collage boards because I don't know what else to call it, but it's a collage board using food packaging and cereal boxes. I may do that same technique on these and then cut also cut them down for um, for other type of tags. But yeah, this is great. And so I told my sister I would share because you guys look at how many there are in here. There's a lot. There is a lot. So I told her I would share whatever it is that I have with her. And then um, that was it. So that was the last of my little haul. Let me show you really quick what I mean about collage board. This is that cookie cookie one that I started collaging last night. And so I don't know if you can tell, but this is the packaging that I work on. And so I thought, oh, maybe I can use that. And so I used it as the first layer. And so now I'm just adding um, some of my scraps to the top layers. So I thought that was cool. Okay, set that aside. But here we go. This is, this is it. What a great little day for thrifting. It was amazing. Let me take a drink of my coffee because my voice is leaving me. Mm-hmm. Mm. What time is it? It is, it's almost noon and I've been drinking my coffee since this morning. Really quick, I was out in the garden this morning. I'm getting tomatoes. They're tiny and little and I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. And let me tell you that uh, if you're limited on supplies, uh, the best place to go is thrift store. So if you're able uh, to go and... Um, now or later, just be careful when you're out and take the necessary precautions. But if you're able to go to thrift stores and yard sales, you can find a lot of great things for for your paper crafts, everything. And that's that's what I do. So I like to buy, you know, I like to support the local crafters. I like to support the, the creators on YouTube. Uh, and also the, when they have Etsy shops and and I like to support other people like, you know, Becky Higgins and Tim Holtz and all of them. And so there's so much out there, you guys, but don't be afraid to shop at your thrift stores. Oh, I also bought this, a 10 key, because I do have a regular job. And so <laughs> I needed one of these. I was tired of using my phone. So, okay. You all take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And let me know if you enjoy thrifting. Let me know some of the items that you have found in your um, thrifting adventures. And uh, let's, get to, let's get to crafting and creating beautiful things. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye.